Hey guys, welcome back to part 2 of Mario's Rainbow Castle. We were just finishing up uh, Tightrope Treachery and uh, I just finished winning the minigame. So we're back on and uh, right now I'm going to go get the star. And Toad, Toad charges 20 coins for every board, so um, once you give him 20 coins, he'll give you the star. And on this board, whenever you, whenever somebody reaches Bowser or Toad, they switch sides. So now Bowser becomes the person in front. And then once you see Bowser or Toad, you go back to the start and uh, you walk the path again to the, the finish. Not much happening right now. <laughs> oh no, not a bouncer square. Uh, and coins for Bowser. That one, Bowser just takes a certain amount of coins. Usually 10, 20, or 30 coins, depending on how much you have and which place you are. And she's in fourth, so he would probably take about 10 or 20. And so the next game is Bowl Over. Again, not a very hard game. I already explained this one before. It looks like Peach. Uh, this is one of those cases where Peach missed again. <laughs> I guess normal and easy players are kind of dumb on this thing. It's only the hard players that you actually have to worry about. And if you miss, if the one player misses, nobody gets any. Nobody loses anything, nobody gains anything. Oh, and this is the poisonous mushroom. So the next turn, my I won't be able to roll the, d the dice block at all. Another chance time. <laughs> no. Now what? <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't involve me or my stars. Luigi. And Peach. Luigi gives 20, 10 coins to Peach. So, not much going on with me. At least right now. And now Peach is gonna go up to Bowser. And, uh, on this board, Bowser charges 40 coins for every. For his item, which is the black star. Or Z star. And if you don't have enough, he just takes everything anyways. And then we get the switch. Back to the start. Peach goes back to the start, and now she has to walk. Four player minigame. And it is keep hot away. Or keep away. Or This one, either everybody wins or everybody loses. If you have an easy player controlling the key, I just say watch out. Just be really careful of the, the Koopas. If they grab the key at any point in the minigame, the game's over and everybody loses. So just make sure to grab the key and hold on to it if, it, if they lose it and then make your way to the keyhole. And if you do that, everyone wins. So not not a really hard game, but uh, sometimes the easy players are really stupid. And they just walk right in front of the, the Bowsers and then they get the key lost and... Bad. <laughs> oh no. So it looks like 
uh, Luigi's gonna get the next star. Not much of a surprise. Yoshi, though, is moving really slowly. I don't know why. Looks like Yoshi might be stuck with Bowser. Unless, for some reason, somebody hits a question mark square. It's going to the left, which is probably not that smart. That's his choice. Okay, next game is Musical Mushroom. This one is fairly easy. I was on hard mode. Uh, everyone is just trying to get it, get the chest. All you have to do is just wait for the music to stop and then go after the chest. Um, sometimes it's really hard to win this one. I don't know how I won there. I thought Peach got it right there. I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes though they stop you right in front of one of those blue mushrooms and when you and it actually slows you down and hurts your ability to win this game. So um, there's not much you can do because the music's already predetermined whether when it's gonna stop. So hopefully you just hope that you don't have a blue mushroom right in front of you. Okay, so Yoshi's gonna go to Bowser right now <laughs> and get all of his coins taken away. For a hard player, he's not really that good. Okay. <laughs> okay. So Toad's back in front now. Three, one versus three. Oh no. Oh, I don't like this. I hate Dash and Cat. Hate Dash and Cat. This one is highly favored towards the three players. I've had it. I've actually won this game as the one player, as not with not losing any coins at all. But it's very difficult, especially if the computers are on hard or medium. All they have to do is just hit you one time, and the coins just fly all over the place. If you're the three players, um, and you have hard computers, or medium computers, what I would suggest is let them do all the work in, in hitting Bowser. And after you hit them, then run after the coins. So, just like coin block bash make everyone make the computers or the strong computers do the work for you and there's not much you can really do for one player the best you can hope for is lose nothing but uh, the, it's a game where it hurts the one player a lot I, I've seen it as much as I think 40 coins or I think 40 40 coins was the most I've ever seen somebody lose It just depends on what type of computers you have and how well they hit and how much times they, they jump. So, <sighs> crane game, of course. <laughs> crane game. This is like the whole most worst combination of games possible. I mean, if you're in first place with so many coins, Bash and Cash is horrible. If you have a lot of coins, Crane game is horrible. Peach is probably gonna come after me. Um, if she grabs any of the treasure boxes, the bags, or the coins, they're worth um, 10, 5, and 1, respectively. If she goes after any of the characters, they lose one third of the coins. So I had 63 beforehand, and one third of 63 is 20 is 21. So I so she took 21 coins away from me. The only time that the computers will actually go after you or another player is if they have more than 30 coins. And this is our first question mark square. 
and all it does is it switches Bowser and Toad with each other. So, if you plan it out right, those question mark squares can help you. Oh god, another Bowser square. <laughs> another Bowser square. Now what? <laughs> now what? <laughs> Chance time? Okay... Okay, chance time is just like the regular square, except the coins always go to Bowser. You know, Luigi's gonna select one character to lose coins, in this case Yoshi, and then the number of coins he loses is either 10, 20, or 30. In this case, 20. And that's everything that he's got. Man, everybody's so mean to Yoshi. <laughs> Everyone's so mean to Yoshi, making him lose everything. And more loss of coins. You know you can't go less than net zero. Another one versus three. Type of treachery. Okay, I think this time I'm the three players. So, uh, as before, if, if you're the three players, it's best to try to hit hit them as much as possible to slow them down so that they lose all 60 seconds, or um, try to hit them with, on the opposite side of where they're standing. So if they're farther to the left side, hit them from the right, as I did right there. I don't know why Yoshi hit himself. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? Sometimes the rope gets in the way too, so you have to be really careful. Make sure you stand. Um, he hit himself again. That's the second time. Try to stand um, just slightly to the right of or left of the rope. It will give you more of a chance to hit the player. If you're far, if you're all the way far to the left or right, it's harder to hit that character. You have to hit him at the precise angle, and he, Yoshi doesn't lose any coins because he has nothing. Gosh, <laughs> more loss of coins. Now who's he gonna warp with? Peachy. Well, that really did anything. <laughs> Poor Yoshi, he's not even last. Uh, and the green blocks are speed blocks. Um, those blocks always roll either an 8, 9, or 10. Bumper balls. Ugh, <laughs> okay. This one's very easy. All you have to do is just bump the other characters off the island. On easy, these characters are really dumb. They'll try to, like, They'll try to run around the, on, along the very edge of the island, which is really not smart at all. If I, if I were you, I would try to get rid of the stronger computers first. I don't know how I didn't die right there. <laughs> Yoshi just got me. This is like horrible. Peach. He's got me. <laughs> That's sad. Anyway, it's alright. She might get the coin star at the end. The minigame star, because it's just stealing so many coins from me. And then now, I think Toad is- no, Bowser's up there right now. So, I'm trying to minimize the amount of distance. So that way somebody else can come in and hit Bowser. Or somebody can hit a question mark too, that's another way. Luigi got another speed block and a minus. Looks like another one versus three again. No, maybe not. Two versus two? Depends on what Peach rolls. She's gonna go to the right. And get a second roll. So 2 versus 2. 
and it is deep sea divers. <laughs>